to be sure to subscribe to Advice the Remaining Social Network, it's Six Dark King, and today we're going to finally restart our last watch of Death Battle with the new season in 2018. So, today is Black Panther vs. the Batman. Interesting one. Quite interesting. Let's see what it come up with. I mean, bats may be stronger on a base level, but can't, does he have anything that can piss my brain him? That's the question. So, let's see. Anyway, the usual disclaimer applies. Screw attack, you rock, you know, it's any corporation whatsoever. For some purposes, blah blah blah, you know the drill. Let's go. Ah, huh, new music. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike an awe, uh, but yeah, mostly fear. <laughs> and these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Indeed. Before he was the Black Panther, before he was a king, T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was huh. anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After earning numerous degrees from Harvard, Oxford, Berkeley, and MIT, T'Challa yes. came home. His Not father, Wakanda's king and then current Black Panther, had been assassinated, and a yeah. new ruler needed Ouch. to be named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But hey, T'Challa wasn't just a nerdy brainiac, he could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and that link bestowed him numerous superhuman abilities. Who knew getting high could turn you into a superhero? T'Challa's new powers included superhuman speed, strength, healing, and agility. His senses also dramatically increased in acuity. Not only can he see in the dark, but his superior vision can even make out infrared and ultraviolet light. So like the powers of a cat? Yes and no. <laughs> While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, he can always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle huh. memory, but in a broader scope. Oh, like how we can walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. So Black <laughs> Panther's super sense lets him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets, and Wakanda House is one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about <laughs> Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right, 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. And they hoarded it all to themselves, and I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars, and Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over $9 billion. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. They were exploring outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther habit is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. 
For example, bullets don't bounce off. They stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed into the suit. Even the shells from a helicopter-mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called antimetal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What can't this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Oh, God! Ah, but don't worry, he's fine somehow. Under T'Challa's leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand uh -huh. -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, okay, never mind, that's literally that. strong enough to punch your jaw off. <laughs> he can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. Yep. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Oh, oh, hold on. But... Did he just take out yes, five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. However, <laughs> under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got the tech, the skills, and the country to prove it. Claw, do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. <laughs> Throughout the underworld of Gotham City, one name strikes fear into the yep. hearts of even the most hardened of criminals. The oh, goddamn that's... Batman! You know who he Again. is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his intentions. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How noble and ironic, that considering he was taught to be a badass by a group called suit. the League of Assassins. And well, he, he dresses like a bat, sleeps with a cat great. burglar, and constantly brings children into battle, so <laughs> he's clearly got a few complicated issues. But let's you see think? what he can really do. Bats is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers at all. And money. Wait, a superpower. You're not just Plus some guy sense. in a bat costume, are you? Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedowns, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control at the age of 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and Boxing. It's not every day you can find someone who can literally take you down in 127 different ways. He's also touted <laughs> as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. And all that's before his handy dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. Yeah. A lot of which are toys. thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all too. According to he Forbes, did. Wayne's net worth thanks to his company adds up to 9.2 billion US dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite grenades, and of course, 
the Batarangs. Originally designed as a boomerang weapon, Wayne eventually molded his Batarangs into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with electric shocks, flash bulbs, and explosives. And last but not least, don't forget his bat suit. It can resist fire, electricity, and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night also, infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand pounds! And I thought <laughs> this guy didn't have any superpowers. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds, solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. This idea generally applies to him in pretty much every area, physically and mentally. He's strong enough to break through walls, rip apart car parts, and pull out prison bars. He is quick enough to avoid gunfire and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Brucey ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference, <laughs> really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. Whenever the Justice League gets in a fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are my favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> Uh, Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of animals has made me think about eating some with Blue Apron! Oh, uh, yeah. So, remember what I said at the beginning about the uh, best being best of a stronger? Not necessarily true. So, the point maintains itself. Weapon of suit can only absorb so much, including focus sound. You know, the the stuff that bats carry in his utility belt that calls around bats out of nowhere. Nice story. The question is, can that overrode the suit? Because everything else are just toys. You saw in the Civil War, or when Hawkeye's arrows did jack and squat him, and those things aren't uh, any stronger than bats' supposed batarangs. So, yeah. At the base level, bats can't... Uh, uh, can't pierce the very suit. It's that simple. But will the, will his toys be enough to overload it? Because after that, well, it's a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Even then. So let's see what they decided. Challenge a king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this should be good. <laughs> Fight 
fighting line. Witness the power of a king. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared for anything. Playtime is over. Amateur. <laughs> Shall hunt the weak. That is the law of nature. Yeah. Oh, the answer is not. And my rule is law. KO! Whoa, that's a new one. Black Panther and <laughs> Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It yeah. definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long yeah. story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. The winner is Black Panther. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching the premiere of season yes, five. Yes, the unbreakable wall. Stop the unbreakable spear. Start a first membership the trial. And if you want the, the fight unbreakable wall. Stop the unbreakable spear. spear this time around. Pretty good. Interesting. So who's next? Oh, Raven. And who's the other? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, death priceless. <laughs> Really? Raven, one of the grim, darkest characters in DC against My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never change, screw attack. Never change. <sighs> Honestly, I did not see that coming in any way, shape, or form. Now, about the battle. Well, was good. The spread animation was pretty good, and uh, yeah, it kind of answered my question. Uh, that's something he wasn't enough. He had absolutely no way to counter the vibranium. Interesting. Yeah. Though it makes sense. The Bane example is an excellent one. Every time Bats does that, he doesn't, you know, try to straight up defeat him. He aims for the venom tubes. So. Like I said, the un the unbreakable wall stop the, the unstoppable spear. Anyway, people, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, forget to like, subscribe, and well, you know the drill. Till then, I'll see you around. Ta ta.